Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Dave, and I'm joined by Kumar from Apps Associates. Uh, and you guys are a premier AWS partner, but what do you guys do? Thank you for having me here, Dave. Uh, means we do some real cool stuff with, uh, with AWS. Okay. Uh, and what I mean by that is we really help customers move from on-prem systems to AWS, everything ranging from data center migrations to databases to applications. And we like to use the word modernize, then yeah. move. Yeah, okay, great. And like you guys came up with a really modern solution in terms of moving some Oracle databases from on-premises. Do you want to talk about it? Yes, so we have a really interesting use case here that I want to share with you where this customer who was running a rack wanted to build a DR solution. Okay, and, and that's super easy, right? <laughs> that is super easy. Uh, their thought was building a DR on-prem, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, as a strategy for the company, uh, they were going to cloud first. Okay. So they wanted to try out AWS services because our, uh, AWS offers uh, Oracle RDS as one of the databases mm -hmm. to use that as a DR solution. Okay. So this customer that I'm going to talk about, they were in the retail media business. Okay. Uh, they would have databases that would be having millions of transactions coming in on a daily basis. So a lot of activity there, you know, banging away at the database, like makes it a little challenging to do lot, CDC, right? A lot of activity. Mm -hmm. So they had a requirement of that, hey, our DR should not be more than 30, 40 minutes away from where their production environments were, especially when they're talking about a cloud-based uh, uh, solution. Right. So what, what they were doing was they were essentially using uh, a logical backup of their uh, rack system onto an S3 mm -hmm. and doing an import and export into an Oracle RDS. And did that meet their, their objective? This was not meeting their objective, but uh, they were trying to do this all on their own uh, mm -hmm. without engaging any partner. And this was essentially taking them days to do that. And days uh, is not a DR, DR solution. No. <laughs> uh, so they looked at uh, Oracle Golden Gate mm -hmm. as one of the possible options. Since they were an Oracle shop, that's yep. the inclination they had. But because their objective was more of, hey, let's try cloud first, we got engaged with them uh, to say, okay, if you're thinking cloud first, then let's look at the cloud first tools. Uh, and, right. and Amazon offers a database migration service, and uh, we essentially propose a solution based on that. Awesome. Uh, well, how did you guys use DMS to, so, uh, so to the achieve way, this? The, the way we did uh, DMS was we, you get an EC2 server and you install DMS, which is Data Migration Service. Mm -hmm. Uh, and for DMS to work, you have to do some configurations on the Oracle database, on the DMS to make all of it work. And the way we started was that uh, we essentially took a backup of Oracle schemas, and we were essentially and loading them onto the DMS. And from DMS, we are going to load it back into the Oracle RDS. So how long did that take? Interesting question. This was taking us. Uh, three to four hours, up to eight hours. That, that's that's way point. too long was, based on what the customer that's wanted. That's way too long. And mm -hmm. these were transactional databases, so this was not going to meet, uh, not going to meet the requirement. Yep. So what we had to do was think of, okay, how do we do a one-time backup? Mm -hmm. And then how do we do incremental, incremental loads going forward? So what we started to do was we said, okay, let's enable what's called supplemental logging. And what supplemental logging does is it creates, based on all the transaction, it starts to create log files for you. An objective is that how do I take these log files mm -hmm. and I load them into DMS yep. and let DMS do its magic to load the RDS. So when you are creating your replication pipeline, so let mm -hmm. me call it replication here. And this is like my, let's say, one-time one -time job. Okay, great. So when we started with a replication, we started with what's called a schema in an Oracle database. So schema mm -hmm. is essentially a collection of tables and all. So they had several schema. So they have a schema, one through N, and we created jobs which were schema-based. So we just moved the schemas and we we're just, done, right? We just moved the schemas. So this works if your schemas are small sizes, mm -hmm. but if you're talking about millions of transactions in a table, the schema-based replication was extremely slow and was not meeting the 30 to 40 minute threshold that they had set up. But you guys came up with a really interesting way around that, right? So then we had to be creative, innovative, and we figured out a solution saying that, okay, the schemas don't work out, okay? But what we can create is what's called a task. So DMS is a pretty flexible tool which allows you to create what's, what's called task. Mm -hmm. And tasks allow you to parallelize your data loads. The way a task works is that I can pick my tables from various schemas, and I can create a task with some large tables and with some small tables. So we pack in a variety there so that, that we can have you know the, the task be kind of a, a bite-sized chunk, right? Yes. 
And these tables could be coming from various schemas. So now I can go across schemas and I can pick up the tables to create a good sized task, which I think will run in a proper time frame to meet my threshold. So we created several tasks here and we parallelize these tasks to essentially run into DMS. And what happens if one of these tasks fell over on you? And if any of these tasks fails, that's the beauty of it, you mm -hmm. can restart that task. That is okay. very cool. So you're not losing everything in that schema, it's impacting certain tables, okay? Right. You can identify certain tables, you can load those tables, you can schedule these tasks. So now, right. we were having supplemental logging being created, we had these tasks, which were replicating into DMS and going into RDS, and this was giving the 30 to 40 minute threshold that the customer was. That's awesome, uh, but they got something else out of it too, didn't they? Yes, the idea was to create a DR, mm -hmm. but this database that we eventually ended up happening, creating here, was also getting now used for a dev in a test environment. So you could actually test your applications on your production data, which is 30 minutes old, which typically That's you would have awesome. a dev environment, which is pretty laid back. And you also could do reporting. So they were able to offload all the read-only reporting users from their primary instance onto a DR and freed up the resources in the rack to basically process a lot more transactions. So you, you, you got more database for your money, you, you're able to use cloud, you can replicate dev test, database migration service. This is very cool. I really appreciate you coming out and uh, thanks for watching This Is My Architecture.